Hello everyone guys. So I decided to record a quick update after I'm my messing around that rat rig we call free printer bed issues, leveling issues, probe issues and first layer issues. So what you see now is my bed calibration. It may look awful on the screen as a, as a picture but if you look at the scale at the moment I've managed to get down with the variance of these hills and, and bumps and depressions so as now you can see the variance we have at the 0 0.086 of millimeter which is quite a good result at the moment this mesh looks like that because it's made of the real 18 by 18 points probed on the bed, 300 by 300. So every single point is, is yeah, is quite dense. Ah, uh, sorry, this is this is a probe. Yeah, so that, that's basically exactly the same as mesh, which interpolates the points. So you can see the 0 0.03, 0 0.005, 0 0.009, 0 0.019, which is in the in the biggest depression you have 0 0.043. That's uh, anyway a good result. But how that how I did this? I've seen a video on YouTube. One guy in USA recommended to simply put a adhesive tape to compensate of the up and downs, hills and depressions and do it repeatedly as long as you not get your uh, required results so look at this now this is my rat trick printer I built it all from scratch with my parts apart from the bed which I ordered from rat trick so this is how I end up sticking a lot of tape to compensate basically depressions in this case so wherever you can see the tape here few even even few layers down on this corner it gives me a proper level of the bed previously that one was way lower according to the bed mesh calibration it was like point uh, 2.3 mil down from the zero level where now <laughs> you can see I have actually have it slightly higher than the zero level. But if we scroll over this, it's only 25.025, which is nothing to be honest. And then, as I said, the variance is now really minimal. It may look big on the screen, but in reality, it does the job. So, conclusion is ah. Forgot one very important thing. I've changed my BL touch to Super Pinda probe, which is really working fine on all the metal bits. Obviously, that's my build plate, so you have to have that if you want to use induction probe. But the good uh, benefit having this probe is that it's not affected by heat. So whenever a bed is cold or very hot, it actually measures the same. So I think I've got it. And finally had a nice consistent print of the first layer, which I require as my product, which I sell, needs a nice smooth finish of the first layer, which is crucial for me. But it was a steep learning curve. And I was assuming that bed calibration and the software will do the job for you, so it will just follow the um, variance of your of your depressions and hills on the on the bed by just compensating this by software and moving obviously up and downs accordingly the, the bed, but it's not the case, guys. If you wanna rely on this only you'll never ever get great first layer 
layout because system this system the rat os and the uh, and clipper it doesn't look like it's actually doing the job properly i'm still holding on my words it doesn't really do the job properly or at least it doesn't really do the job fully it may compensate a bit but not fully that's the thing if you have too much variance on your bed you're not gonna have a good layer adhesion on the first layer because you have to make sure your bed is dead flat well in in <laughs> in tolerance of about point one across hold the bed then i personally after i got that variance at around point one across hold the bed i get the consistent first layer which is always laid down nice and smooth and i don't need to worry about leaving the print and then coming back with a lot of mess because one of one part just went off the bed because of it was too high or too low or whatever now it looks consistent and who would think about it i thought at the beginning that this system can compensate any any depression but it's not guys it's really not get your probe changed get a super pinda or whatever clicky or something which is not affecting which the temperature is not affecting it uh, I think uh, you can get some clicky probe which is used on the Voron printers there is another one but I forgot the name you can make them by self easily as well just uh, ordering some electronic components but Super Pinda was just an easy way to go for me it's, it was like 25 pounds in UK so it wasn't that bad but in conclusion and so you know guys you have to have the bed flat really flat otherwise rat trick and the rat trick system won't do the bed calibration well <laughs> won't follow the bed calibration properly so that's it that's it i hope this video helped you just do whatever you did make your bed as flat as possible spend your time and do it properly don't worry it works for me it really works for me so that's the only way to do it at, at least for now and all the best guys and hopefully you get your prints better soon from now